On a Friday night back in March of 2016, things went terribly wrong at a San Jose cafe. Police were called to the Bon Mua Cafe on Tully Road around 11 p.m. after reports of a shooting. When they arrived, they found two men with shot wounds. Sadly, one of the men died at the hospital shortly after. The other man is expected to recover. Investigators are still piecing things together. But here's what they know so far. An unknown man walked into the cafe and opened fire on the two victims. Then he just disappeared. This story from November 2020 is going to blow your mind. So this couple wants us into a restaurant, acting like they're looking for a bite. But nope, Chow wasn't on the menu for these two. They were there to rob the whole joint. Here's the crazy part. The dude pulls a weapon on the manager. But the customers? Completely oblivious, slurping down their noodles like nothing's wrong. It's like a scene straight out of a movie. Way too easy for this couple. They snagged all the cash from the register heard the kitchen staff out, then weapons pointed at the customers, and not a peep of resistance. But hold on, because things get even weirder. They elude everyone clean, and you'd think security would be all over them, trying to make a getaway, right? But no, that's not quite how the story goes. Bay Area jewelers can't seem to catch a break. Back in January, a crew of smash and grab thieves hit credit jewelers in San Jose. Security footage caught the whole thing. These guys went in, smashed the display cases, and grabbed whatever loot they could. Apparently, some brave souls tried to chase them off, but these thieves were out there fast. This incident is just another reason why California lawmakers are trying to crack down on retail theft. They're proposing stiffer penalties for these crimes, since right now they're often treated like petty misdemeanors. Let's hope they can find a way to stop these smash and grab sprees. This is a crazy story about a Dollar General employee in Florida who went rogue in October of 2023. The manager blows the whistle after noticing the store was missing over $10,000. Apparently, one of their own cashiers was cooking the books. Security footage showed her creating fake transactions, giving herself a ton of cash back. On top of that, she even let her boyfriend's grandma walk out with a cart full of stuff, over $800 worth without paying. Yikes. Um, so just give me a basis of what happened, what's going on. Well, I was watching some video footage on her and she's been stealing from my store. She's one of my employees and uh, my loss prevention person is here right now. I'm going over all of that with her and... Um, okay, so she's currently like semi-detained? Yeah, she's in the break room. Okay. Or in the office with him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so what, what do you have video footage of? Uh, her doing fraudulent inbox and a family member, um, she is ringing, ringing but not ringing her out with three overflowing shopping carts merchandise. She's sliding. For for herself or somebody else? Uh, for her grandmother. Oh, for her grandmother, okay. Her boyfriend's grandmother. Okay. Um, okay. And she has confessed to stealing sodas and doing other refunds, because what she does with the refunds. She's refunding it, it's not even her product, she's taking it off the shelf, she's yeah. pocketing the money. Okay. Okay. It's like um, 50 and 300 and all kinds of money. Okay. So, how long has this this has been going on for about a week? I think a couple months because we've watched oh. video feedback on that. Yeah. That's okay. why he's here. Couple months? Yeah. Okay. Um, it was like the uh, night before last is when she did the full overflowing shopping carts. And then the week prior to that, she did the two fraudulent refunds. Okay. We looked back for it. Okay. I'm going to make a phone call real quick. Um, and then I'm going to go speak with her. And then I'm going to come speak with you again. Probably get some more in it. Just a couple more in-depth details. All right. Sound good? Yeah. It's very overwhelming for me. I bet. <laughs> All right, uh, just give me one second, okay? Okay. All right, um, and as far as like the video footage, do you have it like saved? He can pull all that up for you. Okay. And he can give you all the paperwork here for all the paperwork out. As far as like the receipts and everything? The cops roll up, chat with some employees, and corner the cashier in the office. She's clearly mortified by the whole thing, but the manager says she's been cooperating. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. 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 Deputy Troop? Marjorie P. Manager. Okay. So I got one of our employees here. She, I'm just finished a conversation with her. 
Um, we've been doing refund fraud, and she's been giving away merchandise to her boyfriend's grandmother. Okay. The most recent event happened two days ago, uh, where she allowed her boyfriend's grandmother to walk out of the store with approximately, it was like $800 in three different time. It was 300 300 200 roughly. Okay. Because she didn't bring all the merchandise up and allowed her to walk out without paying for it. Um, I can show you video. How old are you? This is the statement she wrote for me regarding okay. all that. This is the breakdown of the merchandise that we've agreed on. Okay. The officer gathers evidence and things get real when they slap her with handcuffs. She breaks down in tears when they tell her she's under arrest. Apparently, she cracked under pressure and got talked into it. So you just solid and handcuff you in the front, okay? But as of right now, you are being placed under arrest, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Six, seven, fifteen, ten, fifteen, white female. So, what's the punishment? This lady gets a slap on the wrist, one year probation, and a fancy title felonious grand theft thief. As for grandma, cops couldn't find her. Do you think this cashier learned her lesson? Let's hope so. Stealing from your own workplace ain't a good look. You ain't gotta be a superhero to mess with gangbangers, believe it or not. So picture this, a couple of gang dudes stroll into a liquor store all tough talking and whatnot. They're grabbing beers when a whole case explodes on the floor by the entrance. Throw it, amigo! I didn't throw it, it broke by itself. No, it was two. You I come back like uh, 20 minutes, not the same time. Most folks would just let it slide, you know? Keep their heads down. But the store owner, this dude's got ice water in his veins. It, it, it just broke by itself in the bottom. Yeah. Two things oh. broken. Okay. Two coronas, yes, amigo. He knows these guys are trouble. Seen him pull heat before. But he just lays down the law, tells them to get out of the store. And it fell by itself. I tried to bring oh, it to okay. you. Okay, get up. Call back up. Get up. Get up. He's saying. Talk about a gamble, right? This ain't over though. We'll see just how crazy this gets when these gangbangers try to smooth things over. The owner's spoken a bear for sure, and things might get messy. You ain't wrong about needing to be a defensive ninja on a motorcycle. You're basically wearing pajamas compared to the metal monsters zooming around you. But even with all that caution, some drivers just don't seem to get the whole squishy human and two wheels thing. Take Delta 394 for example. Back in July 2017, this dude uploaded a video that went viral. Why? Because he tangled with a real road rage nut job. The whole thing's caught on camera. Delta 394 is cruising along, minding his own business. When this blue Fiat Panda cuts him off like nobody's watching, Delta slams on the brakes, probably thanking every safety god there is, but clearly not happy. So he follows Mr. Panda into the supermarket parking lot to confront the driver. Do you know how to use lanes, you prick? It's not you. It's not you. You smash my bloody thing. Why don't you see where you're going? Why don't you go in the right place? I'm on the left. In the right place. The video cuts to them both yelling at each other. The Panda driver is all flustered, claiming Delta wrecked his mirror. Delta's like, dude, you almost turned me into a hood ornament. Apparently, Mr. Panda wasn't a fan of Delta's riding style. Going slow, then speeding up. Delta hits him with a golden question. What's more important, your mirror or my life? Comments overwhelmingly sided with Delta. So, who do you think was in the wrong in this situation? This happened at a Phillips 66 on East 11th Street on October 25th. We can see a woman at the counter talking with a worker. Then suddenly, man walks in like a normal customer. He approaches the counter, grabs the customer, and yells at the cashier for money. 
It sounds like he was threatening to hurt the customer if the employee didn't give in. Scary stuff. Thankfully, the employee gave him the money and the man took off. March 2022, just another day at the camera store. Little did the employees know they were about to be traumatized for life. A whole gang of armed dudes rolls up, looking mean. Now the store's got fancy security, automatic doors, and all that jazz. you think they were safe, right? Wrong. These weren't your average Joe robbers. These guys were slick. They smooth talk their way past a security guard pretending to be customers. Then, weapons drawn, they bust down the security gate. And get this, there's a whole second crew waiting outside, ready to light anyone up who even thinks about messing with them. They had two getaway cars and ten dudes in total. Nobody even dared to fight back. In just four minutes, these pros cleaned out the store and vanished like smoke. Talk about a daring heist. This lady's just chilling, scrolling through her phone, minding her own business. Then suddenly, here comes crazy old Karen swooping in like a hawk on a defenseless fry. Karen starts accusing her of some crazy stuff on her phone, even throwing around jail threats. Seriously, what crawled up Karen's backside this morning? What are you talking about? You better straighten up. What am I doing? I'm just sitting here on my phone. Why are you bothering me? Excuse me? What did you say? I'm just sitting here on my phone. No. I didn't say a word to you. You you didn't have to. You came over to me out of nowhere and said I'm an idiot for being on my phone. I have it all on video. I, she's, she literally came over to me. I was watching a YouTube video and she said, what are you doing on your phone? You're going to go to jail. Why am I going to go to jail? Okay, okay. All right. I didn't even speak to you. I was listening to my headphones. Security swoops in to calm things down and apparently, according to an employee, this is just Karen's MO. Our lady here is understandably flabbergasted by the whole ordeal. But hey, at least she kept her cool and didn't stoop to Karen's level. Oh, she's like that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I have never seen her before. I had no clue. I was just like, what? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the second time she came over to me. The first time she said, you're going to jail. And I was like, what? I had my headphones and I didn't really hear what she said. Security shows Karen the door, hopefully for good. And our phone scrolling lady gets some peace and quiet at last. Talk about a bizarre encounter. Security cameras at a Folkestone convenience store caught a sneaky theft on June 14th. The video starts with a lady asking the guy, her accomplice, for help reaching something. And he assists her. The lady grabs some stuff from the fridge and puts the products at the counter. Then the lady pretends to look for something else. That's when she gets sneaky and stuffs an item right into her friend's backpack. Like nothing ever happened, she pays for the other stuff and they both walk out like nothing's wrong. Smooth move, lady. But security cameras got you. Everything seemed normal, but things went sour early on a Wednesday morning. The owners say some crooks smashed their way in through the window and stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Security footage shows a white Kia pulling up around 2.53 a.m. These thieves hopped out with boxes, broke the window, and went straight to work. They're busting glass cases, grabbing everything they can shove in their hands and stuffing it all into boxes. In minutes, they were out the door, leaving a mess behind. The owners are understandably freaked out, and for good reason. This is the second time this year they've been broken into. For us, it's very painful because, like, this is our this is our our future. It's the only thing we have. This is how we get paid. This is how we support our family. You know, they're breaking into people's property and stealing what we work so hard for. You know, it's a lot of money and it's a lot of sweat and blood and tears and everything you know so apparently the robbers mostly hit the delta bro side the one dude tried to snag some booze from twisted liquor stew the manor police were on the hunt for these creeps the owners wanted everyone to be aware of what's happening so we just want to alert the community of Manor, elgin austin to be aware that there's a lot of burglary going on stealing cars the thing that we can do is just try to work as a community and try to find some type of way of bringing this these people to to justice 
Security footage shows a silver car pulling up late one night. A guy hops out and heads inside, followed by a woman. They mill around for a second, checking out the cashier. The dude pretends to be all casual, but then makes a sneaky move down an aisle. Looking for cameras, no doubt. Thinking the coast is clear, he grabs a bottle of vinegar and shoves it right into the woman's bag. She acts all innocent, grabs some drinks, and heads to the counter. The cashier, none the wiser, brings them up and lets them walk out with her ill-gotten loot. Well, at least they got some cheap vinegar out of the deal, right? Wrong. This video is a reminder that gas station goodies aren't worth the risk of getting caught. And trust us, security cameras are everywhere these days. A local restaurant just had a situation that got everyone buzzing. A homeless man walked in needing to use the restroom, but they weren't able to let him use it. Totally understandable, right? Well, things went sideways fast. The man got super frustrated, started yelling at everyone, and let's just say the vibe went from chill dinner to full-on awkward. Customers got freaked, staff scrambled, and the whole thing got caught on video. It's a tough spot for businesses. You want to help everyone, but you also got to keep your paying customers happy. This video is sparking a debate. How do restaurants handle folks who need help but might disrupt things? What do you think? Believe it or not, some folks get promoted and think it's a green light to steal. This happened at a local Target where a woman just got promoted to manager. Big mistake for her though, because on her very first day as boss, she decided to hit the registers for a quick two grand. Talk about a bad first impression. Have you already interviewed her about it? Yes, Had she is denying the entire thing. Cops showed up after the loss prevention officer noticed a cool 2,000 bucks missing in one day. The new manager, all innocent-like, denied taking anything. But guess what? Target ain't playing. They got those fancy 4K security cameras to see everything. And her drawers were short every day then? I would assume. Uh, yeah, the shortage was there. Okay. How were you aware, made aware of this? So I'm made aware of this every time a team member opens their register drawer. Mm -hmm. um, it flags in the system. Okay. It's not for sale. Um, and as well as I review the closing caches have been closing. I review all of our closing cash operations regularly. Um, while I was reviewing, we were missing a cash bag, an entire bag. Um, and we were trying to find out where it went. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to start reviewing video. Um, on the and on the 20th, I found that both bags were put there, but then I watched the register number go over to another register, mm -hmm. and that register, okay. and can see the cash. I'll show you that initial video, but this is the one I clicked on first. Um, there's our team number there. And I have a better picture of the face shot than coincide. You're good. You're good. It coincide time wise, but this this is a nice clear zoom in over the top shot. Okay. Can you pause that for some good. Okay. Oh. So, um, so what we're gonna do is review a video real quick. Okay. It's, it's, it's great. Okay. Can you just make sure she doesn't try to walk out? No. All right. She's probably gonna be a 15 cursor. So we're looking at ones, fives, tens, twenties. 50s and 100s, mm -hmm. or in the last right room. It's a, a little bit more video because I got the whole process. But. So you combine the 50s and 100s in the far right? Mm -hmm. Is that how every register is supposed to be? That's okay. the standard, yeah. Footage caught a red-handed, pocketing hundreds from each register. The cops came in, had a chat with the manager, and slapped the cuffs on her. My name's Officer Kelly. I work for West Palm Beach Police Department. I'm sure you're aware of why we're here because they told me that they had already spoken to you about it. Okay, um, but first off, before I start, I have to read you your rights. It doesn't mean you're under arrest. It's just something I have to do before I ask you any questions, okay? Have you ever heard of the Miranda warnings? Mm -hmm. Okay. You see where I'm at here, right? I'm watching a video footage that's unedited from the department store. There's no reason to accuse you of this. I don't know if it's unedited, but I have never done anything like that. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this? Alright. 
So, Mr. Janine, based off the video evidence and uh, the statements made by your co-workers, I'm going to be taking you to jail tonight. Is there anything on your person that might poke or stick me? No. Okay, can you stand up for me, please? What is going to happen with my items? Um, uh, they're going to go with you to jail. Okay. Can you take this jacket off? Um, that will be after processing. So once you get processed into the jail, processed into the jail, then you'll have an opportunity to call whoever you would like. Mind just leaning against the parquet. Could you lose on the left side? Left side? Yeah. Is it because it's caught in your hairband, do you think, or is it? Let me take this. It's okay? Alright, go ahead and have a seat. I'm going to reach around you and I'm going to put the seatbelt on, okay? Actually, I'll wait because I have a female officer that's going to come and do it through a search on you. Um, I'm going to drive you to the back over there so we're not doing all this right up front, okay? She got probation for a year, had to pay back the $2,500 she stole, and worst of all, apparently, she landed another retail job just a few months later. Can you believe the nerve? Maybe this time they'll keep a closer eye on her. This is a cautionary tale for anyone who likes to leave their car running. On October 12, 2016, a juicy red 1998 Lincoln Mark 8 was swiped right from the curb on West 51st Street. Seems like the owner left the keys in the ignition for just a quick dash into the store. Big mistake. Thankfully, the car wasn't gone for good. Police found it a few days later on West 10th Street. Security footage caught the whole thing. A guy in a blue shirt, jeans, and a baseball cap walks in and out of the store, then hops in the Lincoln and cruises away. Lesson learned, never leave your car unlocked with the keys in it, even for a sec. These days, thieves are everywhere and they're always looking for an easy score. Don't let your car become the next joyride. This quick trip on East 61st Street got hit by a robber early Friday morning, March 17, 2017. A woman, we're talking female with a big knife for a weapon, waltzed right behind the counter. The employee saw the blade and didn't waste any time. They just opened the register. The robber grabbed cash, cigarettes, and whatever else she could snag before bolting out of there. Scary stuff. Hopefully the police caught them after that robbery. Florida Highway Patrol spotted a bright red BMW speeding through a school zone on August 11th, 2023. Cops pulled him over and immediately caught a whiff of something skunky, weed. The young driver looked nervous and spilled the beans right away, admitting he had some stuff on him. Bag. Yeah, in there. You know the other bag. 
Dude got handcuffed and hauled out of the car. Go ahead and leave the phone there. searched the BMW and found a treasure trove of trouble, over 200 grams of THC and boxes of THC cartridges. Looks like this dude was ditching school on his first day to play hooky with some Mary Jane. Not cool. Constitutional warnings, okay? Miranda warnings. He has the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide at any time to answer, sorry, if you decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements, okay? You can decide that any time, okay? Where are you coming from right now? Where are you coming from right now? From your girl's house? When did you get out of school today? I didn't go to school. You didn't go to school today? Today's the first day of school. Know, so you skipped uh, school. I don't even try to skip, but yeah. Yeah, well, that's skipping school if you didn't go, right? You know? What are you doing with all this stuff in your car? It's illegal. You don't have a mar marijuana card, right? And you handed me all the stuff. You know? What's going on? It's on beyond it. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I mean, I saw it sitting on the back seat, one of the boxes as it was. The cops read him his rights, and luckily for him, he got off easy. Just six months of probation and 100 hours of community service. Hopefully, this little wake up call will make him think twice before skipping school and getting high next time. In July 2022, in broad daylight in a busy street, doesn't seem like the prime time for a robbery, right? Wrong. Two dudes roll up on a motorbike, screech to a halt in front of a convenience store. They're waving weapons around, threatening the store owner and customers like it's nothing. Traffic jam-packed outside, people everywhere. You'd think someone would notice, call the cops, but nope, these robbers are smooth. They saunter around the store, scooping up cash from everyone like it's a candy grab. Craziest part? Their getaway drivers just chilling on the bike outside waiting for them, and nobody, not a single soul, tries to stop them. That's what's truly chilling about these guys. The audacity, the complete lack of fear. They rob a store in plain sight, and everyone just watches. Talk about brazen. This is a busy morning for Tulsa PD. On September 3rd, between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., one robber hit the gas hard, terrorizing four different spots in town. Security cameras caught the crook at the Sinclair store on East 91st, where they held someone up and got away with loot. Right. 
they're not done yet. They also robbed the Phillips 66 on East 51st Street, Harvest Daylight Donuts, and Taco Bell. But thankfully, the robber didn't get anything there. The spree is definitely a reminder to stay alert, especially early in the morning. On a Tuesday, January 7, 2014, around 4.30 in the afternoon, a husband and wife with a little girl in tow waltzed into the Hobby Lobby on 9717 E71st Street. Now, while they were pretending to just be rousing around, the man secretly stuffed a bunch of silver jewelry into his pockets. the wife, she wasn't any better, swiping some sparkly things for herself and shoving them in her purse. Sneaky, right? Well, they managed to sneak all that stuff out of the store without paying a single cent, even though all those shiny things were worth $900. Back in November, cops in Orange County got called to the Oakley store at Disney Springs because someone was snagging shades left and right. Apparently, it was a whole family affair. Dad, mom, and daughter. Where's the guy? And is that the guy right there? Is that the guy right there? With the matching jacket. Go ahead. Yep. I'm trying to verify. It looks like him. Okay. You want to stop him now? Yeah. Stop. Say hi. Hello, sir. Hi, I'm Danny. With Disney Security. How are you today? Good. Yeah. All right. So you guys were over to Oakley a little bit long, earlier, right? What's that? You were over to Oakley a little bit earlier? No. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. The officers show up and chat with the dad, take him aside, and let him know they caught him stealing on camera. Would you go back to stage real quick? <coughs> yeah. Hey, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it for now. Okay. You're going to open up the other Cool. Thanks. Bye. So we we've got the you know we've got the inside of Oakley, mm -hmm. okay. So do me a favor, talk with Matt here, okay. Sure. We'll see what we can work out, right? So this okay. is the situation. We're only in contact with you because they have video surveillance of you from Oakley mm -hmm. um, for shoplifting, right? Okay. So that is why we're here. You okay. are being detained right now. You're not free to go by any means. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna ask you to put down the bags for the mean in the meantime. Okay. Hang out for a few, all right? No weapons, nothing crazy, only bombs, grenades, nothing like that. All right, I'm just gonna pack you down, make sure you don't have any weapons on you, right? They pat him down, then the wife and daughter walk up. Officer tells them they're all mixed up in a shoplifting case, but lets the mom go since there's no video proof of her being involved. You guys are here because you guys were involved in shoplifting today, right? That's the whole reason that you're here. Um, you guys were observed in Oakley. Well, your daughter and your husband were observed in Oakley selecting items, concealing them and not paying for them. That's why we're here, all right? Um, that being said, as far as it relates to Oakley, at this point in time, you weren't seen on video, so you are going to be released. You will be free to go. Um, Disney, which is separate from us, it's a separate entity, is trespassing you, right? So um, Danny's one of the security managers, he'll explain the process what about, there. What about them? So concern? your daughter and your husband will be trespassed from all Disney property as well, and they will be going to the Orange County Jail today. How can I get in touch? What can I do? So they will get booked in, they will get processed there, and they will be able to call you. Your husband's phone and wallet are going with him. Your daughter's wallet will be going with her. He'll be able to get numbers out of the phone and give you a call. Oh, all right. And they'll explain the process to him as far as posting bail for him so that he can get released and your daughter can get released. They'll explain that whole process to you. Well, guess what? After searching the dad and the daughter's stuff, the cops find over $1,400 worth of sunglasses. And that's not all. They also got a bunch of other stolen items from different Disney stores. Talk about a shopping spree gone wrong. The other one. That's them, sir. Cool. So understand something. 
If you move from here again, I'm going to put you to sit on the ground. Do you understand me? Sure. If you do that again, after that, I'm going to I'm going to hobble your feet. My daughter, she just had back surgery, man. Like stand over there, like I told you. Actually, no. Sit. Take a seat. Take a seat. Sit on the ground. Take a seat. Yes, you can. I'll stand right here. Take a seat. Take a seat. Damn, man. Take a seat. I'm going to ask you to sit down. Sit down on the ground. 50 years old, man. Seriously. I'm sure that you're quite capable of doing that. You're quite capable of moving around. Walking around, okay. yeah. Okay, so stay here. Don't sure. move. Come on, man. Move. You got that hey. camera on? Yes, it is. Thank move God. again. I'm putting you on the ground. Do you understand me? Yeah. Am I clear with you? Yeah. Before I ask you anything, I'm going to read you your constitutional rights, okay? Okay. Constitution requires I inform you that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used in court as evidence against you. You're entitled to talk to an attorney now or have one present at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost. Do you desire to consult with the attorney or have one present during any questioning? No? Okay. If at any time hereafter you wish to remain silent or have an attorney present... Things almost got out of hand because the dad wasn't exactly cooperating, but hey, the officers read them the rights. Miranda rights, you know? In the end, both the father and the daughter got arrested and charged with felony grand theft. Rough lesson learned, I bet. Maybe next time, dad will think twice before setting a bad example for his daughter. Early in the morning of October 6, 2021, like a little after 4 a.m., cops are called out to a burglary over at Twister's Wireless. That store near 41st in Sheridan, security footage shows this crook uses a giant beat-up brown Buick to smash right through the front window of the store. Apparently, this car was stolen too, because detectives say the thing was busted up all over the place. Anyway, three other dudes are caught on camera running into the store with this lookout. All four of them went wild, grabbing phones, tablets, watches, anything they could shove in their bags. They stole over 15 grand worth of stuff in just a couple of minutes. Then they ditch the Buick and hop into another car, probably with a getaway driver waiting for them, and vanish into thin air. Pretty slick, but not exactly the brightest bunch, huh? On August 20th, 2023 in Martin County, things went down. The sheriff's office got slammed with calls from a bunch of stores in the area. Apparently, a whole crew of female looters were on a stealing spree, hitting up stores and swiping thousands of dollars worth of stuff. We're talking about three stores in a row before these ladies caught the eye of the cops at a Dick's Sporting Goods. Witnesses said they saw the group grab over $4,000 of random junk from the store and bolt out, nearly plowing over some older folks in the process. Luckily, the police were on their way and got a tip about the getaway car, what it looked like, and where it was headed. With this info, the officers set a trap. They waited for the car to pass, then pulled a maneuver to flatten the tires and stop them in their tracks. Middle lane. Middle lane. You got eyes? Yep. There. The ladies didn't stand a chance. 
The cops boxed them in with their cars and they had no choice but to give up. They were hauled off to the police station, got their Miranda rights read, and their car got searched. Where were you sitting in the car? Passenger. Passenger? Yeah. Obviously, you know why we're trying to stop you guys. I'm going to read you your rights in just a minute. We're going to talk for a minute, okay? And then uh, I'll give you whatever information you need, okay? How old are you? I just turned 19. 19? Okay. I'll pull up. I need to click here. I have an eye stay over here. All right, I'm going to read you your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. I'm going to shut this door for a minute. I'm going to turn the AC up for you and I'll be right back with you, okay? Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, yeah, let me get the AC. I came, yeah, I came shallow. All right. So fill me in, what's going on? Basically, you were a passenger, right? You weren't a driver? Yeah, okay. Okay, who was driving? All of our sisters, basically. So the younger oh. sister. Was like blood sisters? Yeah, all okay. of us. The Same mom? One, like... Yeah, okay. the black one is not related to us, but we grew up with her too. So. Okay, I got you. All right, so what happened today? Basically, we all trying to get back ready for school. Oh, uh, okay. So this one. One officer even went back to the stores to grab evidence of the thefts. In the end, all the shoplifting caught up with them. They were hit with felony grand theft charges after the cops found over $4,000 worth of stolen goods in their car and top of stuff from other stores in the area. The punishment? Three years of probation for each of them. Let's just say their family reunion probably wasn't all sunshine and roses after that. But hey, what do you think? Did they get what they deserved? On August 16th, 2023, the cops got called to Dollar General because they were missing a whopping $14,000. After some digging, they figured out the manager in charge of the big bucks was the culprit. She'd been swiping thousands from the safe. But I need to get very clear because, because I'm not going to trample over her civil rights because somebody else did. It was, so, it was all just to pay my mom my brother's funeral. He just died. I understand. <laughs> he just told me that if I were that, I wouldn't go to jail. Understand that regardless <laughs> of what statements are made, right, that is for you to dispute with a lawyer. As far as we are concerned, you have now committed the act of grand theft. That is a felony. We have no choice. We must make an arrest and we must take you in. They are the entity representing the business and they are requesting that we take law, law enforcement action against you. That is our position on it, okay? Regardless of whether we think that their investigation went right or wrong, as far as we are concerned, we are going to conduct our investigation in the proper right. order. Okay. Right. What's your Miranda? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only reason I wrote that because he told me I wouldn't go to jail if I wrote that. He was right here with me sitting saying that. So <laughs> we're not going to take that or use it. I know. I know. So that's, I mean, that's just going to be something that they oh, That's for my that, record. That'll yeah, be yeah. for their yeah. records and okay, well, that's 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 as far as we are concerned, we right. will give you the opportunity right. if you would like to to make a statement and we will document it properly. Mm -hmm. um, when the cops showed up, the manager spilled the beans, hoping for a leniency. She claimed she stole the money for a family member's funeral, a tough situation for sure. Apparently, her supervisor promised her a lighter sentence if she came clean. Big mistake trusting that. The officer checked with the supervisor, who confirmed the promise. But guess what? Dollar General's loss prevention team wasn't feeling merciful and decided to press charges anyway. That's cool. Please take me back to where I'm sorry. Please take me out the back door again. Don't put me in handcuffs, please. Um, <laughs> Think what? I don't care. <laughs> I've been here three years, please. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just relax for a second. We're not quite there yet. Yeah, and are you her supervisor normally? Okay, so she's made the statement to us that she was um, told that if she provided a, a statement, um, that she would, that you guys would not. Pursue prosecution as long as you did make that statement to her. Okay. Okay. I just yeah. need to clarify. Uh, I'm here because I, I was trying to save her. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. And the, the other lady's lost probation. Yeah. So she's going to do her thing. Yeah. I was trying to, at least, if she was willing to cooperate. Yes. I was assuming that lost probation was going to yeah. uh, take, take that into consideration and accept, mm -hmm. you know, like a deal. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 But it looked like she. 
Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Those those kind of do. So because of that, um, do you have ID so we can just document that we spoke with you and that that statement? She's she's alleging that that statement was made, mm -hmm. and um, so as far as we are concerned, um, we can't accept any of this because it was all done under duress and all and under a false pretense. She was coerced essentially. You you've made false. Uh, pretenses that she wouldn't go to jail and we have nothing to do with that yeah, yeah. but as far as you're, we just need to document that this is the allegation that she's making and mm -hmm. that we properly read her Miranda and we let her know that anything that she states to us at the, after mm -hmm. this point you know can and will be used against her so I just need your ID and that was all no I don't know where to provide my ID I don't have to have to have to make any crime you're part of the investigation as the authorized representative and as her supervisor who brought her in here. Um, you are now part of the investigation. You can't raise your tone. No. I'm not raising my tone at all, sir. I've well, only spoken with you. I'm not going to provide my ID because I haven't signed up the law. No problem. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, happy that this is happening. Okay. Because I didn't want that to happen to her. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Not problem. He is 254. I am showing a couple of things. I can give you my name. It's not it's fine. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. The manager got to call her family about the mess, then the cops batted her down before taking her in. In the end, she got hit with a felony grand theft charge and stuck with five years of probation. Do you want to go outside and go? Do you do it in here? Yeah, let's do it in here. Okay. Hold on. Can you Leave the door open? I don't have to get dressed, do I? No. Oh, okay. Put your stand up. Stand back. So, was her sentence fair? Honestly, it depends. Stealing is wrong, but a desperate situation can cloud judgment. Let us know what you think. This video shows a couple of girls in Sunderland who are feeling a bit too adventurous. It starts off with these two walking into a corner store, whispering like they're plotting something. They're casing a joint for a good 10 minutes, totally oblivious to the camera watching their every move. It seems like their plan gets put on hold when some dude walks down the aisle, but as soon as he dips, they're back at it. One of the girls, the one with the blonde hair, grabs a bottle of alcohol and shoves it right into her jacket. Smooth, right? Not really, because their partner in crime is already at the counter, pretending to browse, then waltzes right out the door. Nothing suspicious there, right? Well, guess who follows her out like nothing ever happened? Yep, the blonde bandit with the ill gotten loot. Not the brightest move, considering the camera caught the whole thing. It is a busy time for the Vancouver cops in February 2021. They just wrapped up a month-long sting operation aimed at catching repeat shoplifters who are getting aggressive downtown. Apparently, things got wild last 2020 with a whopping 260% increase in shoplifting involving weapons. We're talking bear spray, knives, even weapons. Project Arrow, as they called it, ran for four weeks and the cops teamed up with store security to get results. Here's the lowdown. They investigated a whopping 250 shoplifting incidents, busted 130 people, that's a lot of sticky fingers, slapped them with a combined 268 charges, recovered over $37,000 worth of stolen stuff, and got it back to the stores, snagged 35 weapons, yikes, arrested 45 people who were already wanted by the law for breaking bail conditions. 
Sounds like they sent a message to those thinking about lifting some Lululemon leggings or grabbing a phone they can't afford. Crime doesn't pay, especially not when the cops are watching. You won't believe this. Some buffoon decided to play a tough guy at this supermarket. This dude puffs out his chest like a rooster, trying to intimidate some customer. But peep closely, and you can practically see him shaking. The customer, not backing down an inch. Dakota, please don't. We're about to have a baby. Hey, it ain't gonna be my problem if he lays hands on me in self defense, so that's perfectly fine. Yeah, you can get your ass kicked. Well, you can try. You ain't gonna do shit. Wow, there you go. Big man. Big man. Bye, sluts. Big man. Thankfully, his wife swoops in like a superhero to keep things chill. Wannabe tough guy throws some lame hand signs, but the customer is about as impressed as a rock. They just walk right past him, but Mr. Macho Man over here keeps yapping insults like a broken record. Seriously, what's his malfunction? Let's hope security shut this clown show down before it got messy. We don't need that kind of negativity in our lives, right? On December 11th, 2023, two cars pulled up outside a liquor store. These folks hop out, looking around like they're casing the joint. They head straight for the booze aisle, grab a single bottle. Maybe they were on a budget, or maybe they just weren't that thirsty. And then things get weird. One guy starts busting a move, like he just won the lottery and free booze. Meanwhile, one of the women grabs a bottle of liquor. On a different camera angle, the woman in yellow pants can be seen getting the drink from her pants. Then she tucks it back. Mission accomplished. They hide till it back to their cars, bottle in tow and peel out of there like nobody saw a thing. Well, guess what? Security cameras saw everything. Looks like they'll have to celebrate with something else. Back in January of 2023, cops rolled up to a Burlington Code factory because an employee decided to play Robin Hood in reverse. Here's the scam. This cashier would snag some clothes during her breaks, then ring them up later at the register. But before finalizing the purchase, she'd suspend the transaction, making it look like she paid, but actually walking away with free threads. She even convinced some other workers to join her thieving crew. She was always the cashier. Like she was always giving them the stuff for free. Right? And the, the other associates, I haven't found any where they're picking her up. She's just, she's at the cashier, so she's really admitted to like $3,000 worth of the dollar. The manager spilled the tea to the cops on how the whole scheme worked. Turns out the cashier thought she was slick, recruiting almost everyone on her ship to steal clothes and fake pay for them. She got away with it for three whole weeks. But guess what? Loss prevention ain't done. They can see all those suspended transactions, making this whole thing an open book. Transactions, 16 of that is what this social walked out with. And this one here is like a farmer social she recently quit. Where is it? So that's just their names. I just had, a, had all the other so social's names. Guys. But that person we have prison here is she was involved in all the transactions. She was involved in all she was the cashier. So she was the cashier. So she was like letting the employee leave, leave with all those stuff. She would bring some of the stuff up. You know, it looks so it looks if it like look it looks like everything's getting ringed, but then she was, instead of cashing it out, they would hit suspend. So it just suspend the transaction. But she still gave them the stuff and they walked out. They never so, paid for it. But on this this here, that's every one of these are I was taken or yep. is none of that was paid for. Okay, that's why I just want to make sure. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a little story one here. This is hurt to New York State. The cops had a chat with the mastermind cashier. And let's just say it wasn't a friendly conversation. She got slapped with handcuffs and squirted out and hit with a grand theft charge. So you unfortunately there's no choice. You're going today. Can I pay the money back, please? I can't go to jail. That's my boy every time I can't go to jail. 
You got thirty one hundred dollars? I could play pay me if I could do something. Uh, that's that's not on my hands, that's on them, but they want right now they're prosecuting. Excuse me. I can't go to jail. I just don't want to go this morning. I just Well, first we're going to talk, and then we'll go from there. But I will go step out and talk. I can make payment for anything. I can do anything. Just tell him, please don't do anything. I was wrong. Please don't take me to jail. Okay. Please. We'll talk to this guy, all right? All right. What's your name, ma'am? Yes. All right. So I'm going to read you Miranda because we are going to talk. Because I can take you to Gun Club, which means someone got to come all the way over here to Coast to get you. I could take you out to the Glades, which is where we're supposed to take you, and when you get out, you're right there. All right? I'm going to do as best I can, as long as you cooperate with us and, and be cordial, then we can work. And he's with me. We, we got you. We can take care of this. But if you start acting up, right. cuffs and all the way through. All right? Where's your purse? In the locker. All right. In her vehicle? All right. She's got what she wants out of it, so if you... If you want to go back to the sub with me and help me do the property real quick? All right. And then we can get her down where we got to go. Like I said, man, if you cooperate, let's go this route. If you don't... Well, you want to leave your stuff in the car? To the, the bag. All right. We'll try and make it as comfortable as we can, right? It ain't built for comfort. Hold on, we got one. We're going to double it up. Which will give you a little bit more freedom, all right? The judge wasn't feeling generous. She got stuck with nine months of probation. But wait, there is more. While on probation, this girl went and stole again. Petty theft this time. Talk about not learning your lesson. Maybe next time she'll stick to honest shopping sprees. Check out this video in a hair salon. We see a girl carrying a young one, just strolling out of a salon like she owns the place. Turns out she walks right out without paying for her hair service. You literally still have to pay me, ma'am. No, like literally, do you not realize though that are you, you gave me? me to my car? I am, because how are you? You're teaching your daughter this right now? The employee is hot on her heels, trying to reason with her, but this lady is playing hardball. Apparently, she doesn't agree with the price. The employee says it's because of her long locks, but the customer ain't budging. I'm paying 543 for an all over black color. Like, Dude, your hair is down to your butt. How do you not expect it to be over? The employee just keeps filming the customer as she walks to her car. Are you kidding? Okay, that's fine. Got your car and everything. Talk about embarrassing. In the end, the employee gets a license plate. So hopefully, justice and payment will be served. This whole situation is a mess. But hey, at least we learned a valuable lesson. Always pay for your services, people. On August 3rd, 2023, the cops got called to a safe way because of a repeat shoplifter. This lady, who wasn't exactly a stranger to the store security cameras, apparently swiped $800 worth of groceries the day before. Big mistake. Hey, you're bad. I always call you guys. No, it's okay. Yeah, she's out of late right now. Did she steal anything? She didn't steal yet. Today. Today, no. So, what's your plan? What do you want to do? Um, so, I definitely want her on trust house. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I have like the camera cards pulled up from yesterday too. Okay. And it's a massive cart. It's eight hundred dollars plus. Okay. And then on the twenty third. Did she just walk out with it? Did she scan items? Yeah, no, she just walked out. Okay. Uh, yesterday, with that like that one. That yeah. Part. Yeah. She just walked out with it. Okay. Um, and then on the twenty third, I called you guys. She. She didn't steal anything that day, but she was she was going to. And I scanned it all out. It was like 7.35. She left it over there. Um, the officer who came in said, which I understand, like, there's nothing really you guys can do about that. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I know she's going 
to steal. Oh. So I absolutely want her trespass. I don't. Oh, that's her. That's her down on four. Okay. She's okay. Awesome. Yeah. Wait, so just want her trespass? For right? we'll, we'll get her identified and figure it out. The manager filled the cops in on the whole situation and wanted the woman banned from the store. The cops spotted the suspect cruising the aisles and gave her a friendly little chat. Of course, she denied everything, like clockwork. Hey, ma'am. Let me talk to you for a second. So yesterday, Sounds like you walked out with quite a bit of cart of groceries. I did? Yeah. Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. Well, right now, you're going to be the oh, until I figure it out. Babe, I love you. I love you. you gotta, at, a, at a minimum, you're getting trespassed from the store. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And then if you're on video stealing, you better not lie to me. You understand? You I'm better not lie to me. I might be. <laughs> you might be lying to me? Three, we have the female defense. You got it, warrants? I might, I don't know. You got ID on you? I don't. Babe, I love you. You can go. You can go. I love you. What's your name? Oh, can you give me my What's phone? What's your name? You have her phone? No, he needs my phone. You need your phone? Yes. Okay. You got idea what's working for him, Babe, I love you. I don't know when I'm gonna get out. Huh? What's your name? Kelsey. K E L S E Y. Last name is Ozo. Z O S E L. Sorry, spell again. Z O S E L. What's your middle initial? A. Date of birth? 5289. Babe, I love you. If you have warrants, what, they're, what are they for? For that. Shocking. A15 and A. I love you, babe, so much. Last of Zebra, Ocean, Sam, Edward, Lincoln. First huh? of Kelsey, King, Edward, Lincoln. I love you. Sam, Edward, Young. Middle A, Adam. Five, two of 89. Huh? I know, baby, I love you so much. I love you. Okay, let's take a wrong part. Like, enough. Sorry. The cops were in buying her story. Security footage showed her shoplifting clear as day. And then that's my sound up. There's anything to do about that. that was the other night. And... Okay. That's her fatty cart. That's the one from that night. That's the one from that night. Okay. I'd like that. I don't know if that's whatever, but that's yesterday. Okay. So, do you want to pursue charges for that? She's got a whole bunch of warrants. She's yeah. Like, yeah. You do? Okay. Yes. They detained her while they gathered evidence, hauled her into the office, read her Miranda rights, and got the whole story. Turns out, she was broken desperate, but that doesn't exactly excuse stealing a cart full of groceries. Okay, Kelsey. So I gotta read you this real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained? Okay. If you want to talk to me about what happened yesterday, let's go. Uh, I'm broke. Don't have anything. You're broke. Don't have anything. Where do you live? Um, off of Jump. Six. Six and one. Six in Spokane. Yeah. Okay. Six and eight. Isn't that down by the grocery outlet? Yeah. Somewhere on. Are you staying in a shelter or just is that where you stay? No, it's not other than yeah. You live there. Okay. And then, so why are you coming out to Cheney to steal? I don't want to, I'm around at the lake. Which lake? Silver. Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. and then, well, I mean, you stole yesterday. You stole $800 worth of stuff, it looked like. A pretty full cart. That's what they're guesstimating. Have you seen the cost of anything? No way, $800, there's no way. Well, there's a good chance it is. Right are now, without a, without a receipt, I'm going to charge you with that third. Yeah, I'm not gonna it's charge. Gonna a yeah, it's gonna be a misdemeanor because I can't substantiate the the full felony. But right. you're on camera walking out without paying with a cart full of stuff. Right. I mean, do you refute that at all? What do you mean? I mean? Are you disagreeing with that yesterday? What happened? Was that pretty much what happened? You came in, loaded up a cart, and left. 
know. That's not what happened yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't come in here and steal yesterday? I don't know. You don't know? The cops slapped her with a shoplifting charge and trespassed her from the store. So, do you think this will be her last raw? Honestly, who knows? Hopefully she gets some help, but for now, she's definitely not welcome back at that safe way. Check the security footage at this gas station. It's 3am and two dudes roll up looking shady. The cashier, bless a sleepy heart, thinks they're just late night snack fiends and unlocks the door. Big mistake. Before they even get inside, these guys shove a bottle in the door to keep it open, like they're planning a sleepover or something. And let's not forget the conveniently placed clothes hiding their faces. This ain't a social call. One dude pulls a weapon, tells the cashier to cough up the cash while his partner is on a shopping spree, grabbing everything from his smokes to get this, whole racks of lottery tickets. They fill their bags, nobody even tries to stop them, they're at the door with a getaway car waiting, easiest robbery ever. We can't all be saints, but let's be honest. Popeye's portions and that glorious dipping sauce are stingier than a squirrel with acorns. So this one customer marched right up to the counter, ready to throw down because they skimped on the sauce. She's all fired up. If I spend my money, I need to get what the f I deserve. Hey, I'll call you back now. <laughs> Look, sorry, ass, bitch, don't trap. Hold That's what I'm trying to find out. Is, your, is this sauce coming out your pocket? The drama was real, folks. But hey, it worked. She held her ground and merged victorious with that extra sauce. Now that's some next level dedication to flavor. Do y'all got more of this sauce laying around? Cause I'm looking at a shitload. The little sorry ass bitch in Trifle told me y'all didn't have any more sauce. I'm talking to that bitch right there, yes. <laughs> bitch wants to tell me if there was no more sauce and I'm looking at a shitload of sauce. You trifling patty bitch. That don't make no sense. Maybe Popeye should just start handing out buckets of that stuff, you know, to avoid these future meltdowns. This Florida gas station story is a doozy. On April 28th, 2023, the cops rolled up to a pump-in place after a meltdown by a woman acting like a real jerk towards an employee. By the time the officers arrived, she was outside getting the boot from security. Take a breath. Do you have your ID on you? I practiced thyroid and have really bad high blood pressure. Yeah, sit down, please. Sit down. Yeah, have a seat. Just careful, there's junk over there. I'm furious. He does not need to act like that. He fing slapped my hand, spilled my coffee all over the counter. Okay, we're, we're gonna go over all that. I'll ask you in just a second what happened. Echo four, I'm gonna go to copy for the album number. Just no, sit tight. Really One second. I have no reason not to. Listen. Hold on, just a second. They're saying that they just opened the register that are going change for a hundred. So, you see, I didn't have one. This lady fed the cops a line of whoppers, but guess what? The gas station had security cameras that saw the whole thing. Turns out, not only was she lying through her teeth, but she also threatened to steal stuff. Yikes. Hello, sir. Um, did the other officer get your ID? I'm sorry? Your identification. <laughs> and just uh, fill me in, what exactly happened today? I know Officer Matini spoke with you, but... Okay, so she came in to buy some things. She mm -hmm. had a $100 bill. Don't worry, didn't have a change in the drawer. She started throwing a fit. So I told her to leave. Went to grab my stuff back. 
She had lottery in her hand. She said I gave it to her. It was on the counter. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for the video right now. Did she, are you claiming she hit you? She didn't touch me. Okay. I didn't touch her. Did you smack the coffee out of her hand or something? No. Okay. She right. went to grab everything and it fell when she went to grab everything. The officer comes back out, lays down the facts with evidence from the cameras, and this woman goes ballistic. Uh, the other officer that just showed up does. He's going to be the one who's working it. Um, he's the primary guy on it, so. Yeah, I, I ran her. If that's her number, that's good. Good. Uh, what, what's your local? Is your local address the same as your ID? Okay. Okay, well, what we're doing right now, um, obviously, so the gentleman that says she didn't have change, whatever, obviously you're not going to be able to purchase the items from here today. So how am I going to get gas? I can't make it. To 7-Eleven? I'm on E. It's fumes. Stinky okay. fumes. Well, it's like a couple hundred feet away. Okay. Even, okay. even if you don't make it, I'll, I'll push can you the rest me? of the way, right. if, if I have to. Can I get Go the on. camera footage? Because I want to press charges. Just one second. Not Yo, what is your deal? What is your deal? You're sitting you're here blaming screaming it on at everybody. Me. Like, I stole something. I got very good money waiting to pay for gas. No, you just waiting said... Waiting to pay right. for all my shit. We're going to walk out with stuff. Did I leave? You said, this is free then, it's mine. Is I said, so what you're telling me is to take this stuff. I was making it clear of what that idiot just said because that is his uh, Is that wrong by asking him? So what you're telling me is to take this for free? My coffee, my donuts, my tickets? And then he said no. Try to grab so the coffee back. So I stood there, correct? Oh. Hold on. Because they blocked me I'm from the listen, door. Did I'm you see that? I, yeah, I'm trying to make sense of what happened. Yes. At what point did he hit you? Do you see on the on the thing when he when whatever we were switching hands with this, he went like this to my hand and my coffee spilled on the counter. Did you not see that? When he re when together. he reached for the coffee cup. Let's watch it together. No. Okay. Not so happening. you guys aren't gonna do your job. <laughs> Are we trespassing or what? Oh, okay, good. So I can leave? No, not yet. You can when you get your trespass. Because he couldn't take my bill for no Listen, reason. You back serving. You, dude. Go. Give me my ID so I you can leave. Now go to your car. You. Mind your she starts getting aggressive, filming the cops and throwing insults like nobody's business. The cops tried to be patient, but her actions basically screamed jail time. Nothing. That guy burned the shit me with coffee, and you guys still aren't doing anything. Well, have a great day. You, dude. Do you want your case what number? Yours? I don't want a case number. I'm okay. calling you guys all in. All of you. Every single one of you. Because you guys think it's okay for men to burn women. You're trespassing. You have to you leave. Trust pass, so you. You. You, have to leave. You. you have to leave. You. Do you want to go to jail? for people to be in your face? And you're not do anything. How does it feel? I did nothing wrong. And you want to Click clack, put the handcuffs on, and off to the station she went. This is. I'm gonna have enough. Oh, you guys don't even understand, dude. I'm so aggravated. This isn't me. It's my health that gets me upset like this. Okay. Let me move that. This is. In the end, she got slapped with a trespassing charge. Hopefully, this little wake up call will teach her some manners next time. Picture this, it's August 30th, 2018, around 6.10 p.m. A woman with short, dirty blonde hair and a ponytail struts into Ulta on Dublin Granville Road. She wasn't exactly petite, more like built and bold. Now, this woman wasn't there for some pampering face mask or a cute new lipstick. She beelined straight for the fragrance section, on the hunt for something a little more expensive, but she wasn't just grabbing any bottle. She scanned the shelves for the fancy colognes and perfumes that didn't have those annoying security sensors. Sneaky, right? Underneath the coat she was carrying, she stashed a giant black and pink purse. Then one by one, she stuffed a whopping 22 bottles of men's and women's fragrances into that purse. Mont Blanc, John Vervedos, Paco Rabanne, you name the brand, she snagged it. From Juicy Couture to Kenneth Cole, this lady was clearly building a scent collection fit for royalty, or at least a very fragrant garage sale. Once her purse was overflowing with designer scents, she didn't waste another second. She bolted out of the store, hightailed it through the parking lot, 
and hopped into a waiting gray Mazda SUV. Yet she figured that kind of haul deserved a grand exit. Well, all I can say is that her taste in cologne might be expensive, but her shoplifting skills? Not so much. Security cameras caught the whole thing, so good luck enjoying that stolen scent collection. Illinois cops got called to a store on July 4th, 2023 because a woman decided to celebrate Independence Day with a little free shopping. When the officer showed up, the woman denied everything and tried to bolt out of the store. But the manager put a stop to that real quick. Hello. We were just negotiating. So, everything good? Everything. She's coming with me, Rick. Okay. Okay, it's this way. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you need me at all? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, you're in the Okay. It's not the keys. No, I know, but one way or another, the keys is there. Where do you gotta go, John? The doors are closed. It's too late. It's not right. I didn't do anything. So go that way. Go this way. Please don't touch Stop. Me. Please, sir. Stop. I have groceries. The woman got escorted to the office, but she wasn't exactly cooperating. You understand? Why? Let's go this way. Please, 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 let go of him. Nope. Please, 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 all these people are watching that you're disobeying a lawful order. No, I understand what you're saying. Step inside now. Please. Step inside. I can't be under arrest. I have kids at home. Step inside. Please now. stop being upset with me. Now you are resisting. That's another charge. No. Step Please inside. Please stop it. Please, I'm begging you. Nope, you are under arrest. Okay, let go of me. You are resisting. Go you are Please under arrest. Me. She threw a full-blown tantrum, resisting the officers and screaming about some past bad experience with the police. The officers weren't buying it, and after some back and forth, they slapped the cuffs on her. Stop it! Please let go of no. me! Sir! Ow! No! You're not going to do it! Stop! You're no, hurting me! Hey! Okay. I cannot get teased. I am giving you a lawful order. I am to stop. asking you to stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Please stop touching me. I'm walking up with no, my groceries. You are not going anywhere. Yeah? You are okay. not. Why? You must have to buy the grocery side entrance for the. This is. I'm calling one. No. This is not no, right. Prevention. Excuse me. Stop it. I didn't do anything. Please. I have to get home to my kids. No. No! 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 If you please, I will turn myself in. You cannot nope. hug me and do this. I will. No, please. Nope. I don't. I'm not well. No! Court, you said in court. No! They don't take you to court. They wouldn't even. Stop! Please let me call my mom. Stop! If you make my defibrillator go off. No! I am a pacemaker defibrillator! Stop! Ah! Put your hands no! Put your hands back. I got the bag. Please, I'm just asking you to not cuff me. Put your hands back. I'm asking you to not cuff no, me. No, no, no. Please help me. Please, somebody help me. Nobody's going to help you. I know, right? Because this is terrible. Like, what did I do wrong? And look at all of you. Wait, look at all of you. Okay, we're trying look at all of you. No, wait. You're being ridiculous. You. No, you are hurting me. My kids are waiting for me at home. Okay, step away from the wall. Please understand. No! 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 No, please. I don't see it. I need my sleep alone. Here, let me call my mom. I need someone to help me. I can't do this. Stop. No! Please help me. Please help me. Help me. Help me. Somebody help me! Help there me! Go, Steve. No! Now you can stand no, up. No, I can't. No, I can't. One, two, one, two, three. three. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, well, you have to walk, ma'am, okay? By the time they got her outside and into the car, guess what? She finally fessed up to stealing and calmed right down. Interesting timing, right? So did you pay for other items too? I did. Okay. Um, I paid for some, like five beds of grocery. Okay, here you go. Have a seat. Okay. Watch your head and I'll put your seatbelt on. Okay. 
You can adjust. It'll get a little tight back there, but you can adjust. <sighs> One second. I just need Okay. Now you can adjust a little bit so nothing's tight. Watch your toe in there. There you go. None of us put this again. No, none of us put this on wanting to hurt I anybody. Understand. Okay, we were called for a reason. No, I understand. You're doing your job, and I'm sorry. Anyway, they hauled her to the station for processing. In the end, this drama queen got charged with both shoplifting and resisting arrest. So, do you think it was all an act to avoid jail? You be the judge. But one thing's for sure: celebrating freedom with a shoplifting spree probably wasn't the best idea. Check out this deep sea footage, it's like something out of a horror movie. This camera, probably meant for exploring the ocean abyss, is casually filming all sorts of creepy crawlies when it zooms in on something, well, unexpected. Is it just a harmless critter distorted by the darkness in the camera? Or is it something truly monstrous lurking in the depths? The way it moves is kind of reminiscent of those ninja throwing stars, all sharp angles and unsettling vibes. Basically, this clip has given everyone another reason to be scared of the deep ocean. Who knows what creepy beady-eyed creatures might be waiting down there in the inky blackness. Hold on to your venti ice lattes, folks, because this is a wild ride through a Seattle drive through Instead of a friendly barista, we've got a fuming customer throwing a tantrum over a $20 coffee and water order. Apparently, this guy wanted a $5 discount, but the barista, 23-year-old Emily, owner of the Taste of Heaven bikini stand, wasn't budging. Things go nuclear when the customer throws his drink at Emma. But this barista wasn't going to be a drip. She grabbed a hammer and smashed his car windshield. Yikes. Talk about an escalated response. The internet is buzzing over this throwdown, with some folks saying the customer deserved it for chugging his drink, while others think the hammer response was a bit much. One thing's for sure, this is not your typical morning pick-me-up story. Emily wants the customer charged with assault, and let's be honest, throwing a drink qualifies. But seriously folks, maybe next time just skip the drive through drama and brew your coffee at home. On June 16th, 2022, the cops rolled up to a business after someone called about a woman causing a scene. Apparently, this lady was wasted and arguing with everyone inside. As the officers approached, she got even crazier. Cops found her in the parking lot, yelling at them and trying to barge back into the store. The way she was talking was way out there, and she got super aggressive with the officers. Good, thank you. Not too bad. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing real good. Gotcha. He said my day is going to end. Okay. So what's going on today? Because y'all white. What? Uh -huh. Well, no one's day is going to end. And I pray to God every day. He's going to say my day is going to end. Why yeah. my day is going to end? Because you think I can't pay for my meal? Is that what's going on? I don't know what the I'm, I'm trying to ask you. But I'm just trying to ask everybody. Don't f with me because I'm black. I'm not. Uh, let me go up here and pay for my meal. Like a real okay. in front of my child. Cause she crying. She crying. Yeah, I get it. She crying. Yeah. So is that something? She got white friends. Yeah, I believe you. What are you talking about? This day is going to end. I don't need him to do so, for me. Ma'am, can I get? Ma'am, no, come over here. Ma'am. Get on my face, bro. Come over here. Let me pay for my meal. I don't need to do shit for me, All right, sir. Hang on a second. Go ahead right. and take care of your right. ass, man. Hey, hey, man. man. Stay here. We're gonna go talk to the owners. Go we'll man your business, bro. Hey, go man your right. business, bro. I can take care of you and my daughter. Yep, I believe I've you. been doing this. I, I don't need that. No, oh, I know. Y'all on the white, y'all on the white plantation. No. Y'all think I need y'all? No. I ain't, it's over with. Okay. That white plantation shit over with. Yep. I can't even give my daughter. We're trying to get some money. Oh, they need some money. Let me pay for my daughter. We're, we're, we're trying to work that out. No, right now. I want to pay for they, this shit right now. Okay. We have to let them talk. Let me get your name real quick. You're not for the get I'm going to need to get You're your not name. Get he tried to be patient, but she wouldn't listen, just babbling nonsense and acting bizarre. The officers finally told her she was trespassed from the store and they needed some info to ID her. Big mistake. She refused to cooperate, so they arrested her. 
Of course, she put up a fight the whole time, making things even harder. So we're trying to talk with them and see if they're willing to do that, Damn, okay? Boy, them back. Kiss my ass. When they ready for me to get... Again, I've like gotten no cooperation at all. Are they... Do you have money to pay for it? They, they don't... What no. the you mean she no cooperation at all? You just like the police? They want to trespass. That's it? They want to go on. They want to okay. trespass. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So, so, you're going to be gone with here? I just need your name. They're not making you pay today. They just don't want you here anymore. That's all. Hold on for just a second, Tiffany. Tiffany, what's your birthday? Sam 8. I'm getting no record for that name. Date of birth. Stop it right nice now. Try. Nice try. Write his name down. Okay. Get your You're going to be arrested Get for disruptive intoxication. Get your phone out, okay. G. Take his name down. Take his name down, Mama. You're going to be arrested. Do you down. understand? He's on you. He's on you. He's on you. He's on you. Take his name down. His name is K. My name is Sergeant Mecca, okay? No, 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 no. Yes. I ain't no Sergeant Mecca. Okay. It's, it's, it's my name. Okay. Okay. Right so what you want from me? Your identification. And I'm going to pay for the mail. You're not going to pay. You're not getting that. I didn't we're do okay nothing to them. Now. I need your identification. I didn't do nothing to them. And right now, you're violating a city ordinance okay. that I can arrest you for, okay? Uh, Let's just go 1095. Okay. You're under arrest. Okay. No, I'm not under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Stop. 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 Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting right now. She's resisting to kill. Stop resisting. Stop resisting arrest. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You're under arrest right now, okay? Yep, that's fine. They hauled her to the station. But guess what? The party didn't stop. She kept acting weird and talking gibberish. Oh, y'all locked me up for taking my daughter out to eat. That's it. The f you see on me? Taking my daughter out to eat. Uh, y'all ain't seen me in the paper. My son played basketball in this And my daughter do track in this Y'all taking me to jail for all these raggedy ass niggas right here making the town with bad. Go ahead, take me to jail. I swear to God, I'm finna get my boy on your ass. Go ahead. I got all y'all names and I remember okay. y'all face. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. 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 My son gave it to me. You'll get it right back. For Mother's Day. No! It. Yes. You take it out. The cops finally had it with her antics and slapped her with three charges. Disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and disruptive intoxication. Sounds like a night she won't remember. Or maybe will, depending on how wasted she was. Things got scary at the Cricket Wireless on South Lewis Avenue on Wednesday, September 16, 2015. Around 7.50 p.m., a dude walks in, not to browse phones, but with a weapon in his hand. Yeah, not cool. He threatens the employees and demands all the cash from the register. Shocked and scared, the employees just did what he said. Once he had the money, the crook bolted out of there like a shot. The suspect is about 25 to 30 years old, on the taller side at 5 foot 10 to 6 foot, and somewhere between 140 and 170 pounds. Hopefully the cops managed to catch him. No one likes a phone-stealing bully. The Argentinian summer heat beat down mercilessly in July 2020, and the bustling atmosphere of a local Chinese supermarket, a scene ripped straight from a crime movie unfolded. Two cars screeched to a halt in the parking lot, their arrival shattering the tranquility of the afternoon. As the car doors flung open, a group of men emerged, their figures menacing silhouettes against the harsh sunlight. The glint of metal in their hands sent a collective shiver down the spines of everyone present. These weren't ordinary shoppers. These were gangsters. Their hands gripped in large weapons with a practice ease that spoke of violence. On a sweltering Sunday in Houston, August 2nd, 2020 at 3.10 p.m., two dudes, complete strangers, walk into the Cricket Wireless in East Edgebrook. One of them rolls up to the employee, pulls out a weapon, and demands all the cash from the register. The other crook, chills by the door, also back in heat, to make sure nobody tries anything funny. The first guy grabs the money, then swaggers to the back and snags a bunch of cell phones too. Feeling like they hit the jackpot, they bolt out of there in a black Mitsubishi Lancer. Smooth, right? Not exactly. Hopefully the Houston PD was able to catch these two knuckleheads. Suspect number one is a male, around 20 to 25 years old. Belt kinda skinny, last seen wearing a black hoodie, red pants, and white shoes. 
Not exactly a disguise of the century. His partner in crime, another male, also 20 to 25 and on the thin side. This guy was rocking a blue jean jacket, black pants, and Nike sandals. Not exactly intimidating footwear for an armed robbery. Nobody likes armed robbers, especially ones with questionable fashion choices. This video shows what looks like a robbery attempt at a local store. The guy walks in and heads straight for the cashier, who's busy with something else. He glances around the store, then leans in close to the cashier. They chat for a bit, but it's hard to say what exactly went down. The source who uploaded the video says it was a robbery attempt, but who knows for sure. One thing's for sure, the cashier didn't seem too scared, so maybe the dude just got cold feet or something. Either way, it's a weird little encounter caught on camera. Subway stations, they're not all just rats in mysterious puddles. Sometimes you get flash mobs breakdancing, musicians serenading commuters, or even a rogue squirrel looking for a dropped nut. But let's be real, they can also be creepy. This video shows the dark side. Some people use them to pull off nasty stuff like this robbery. To avoid becoming a target yourself, keep your head on a swivel, stash your valuables out of sight, avoid empty corners, grab a buddy if you can, and trust your gut if something feels off. Sadly, this clip ends on a bummer note. The crook gets away scot-free. Here's hoping they catch this jerk soon. This is some next-level Kieran caught on camera. This lady's having a meltdown that makes a toddler look zen. We're talking about a full-on liquor launch throwing bottles all over the floor like a deranged bar fight. People are scattering just to try to avoid the sticky mess in this woman's epic tantrum. The video doesn't give us a clue about what set her off, but one thing is for sure, clean up on Isle Karen. This is a disaster zone waiting to happen, and someone needs to call security before things get even more out of control. This Karen tried to pull a fast one, chucking her pizza like a frisbee across the store in a dramatic exit, but the employee behind the counter wasn't having any of it. Fed up with this entitled customer's nonsense, chases Karen outside. Here's the jaw dropping part. The employee actually shoves Karen, sending her sprawling onto the sweet pavement justice of the parking lot. We don't know the whole story behind this pizza sling and showdown, but let's just say that Karen definitely learned a valuable lesson about messing with food service workers. Walmart, land of good deals and, well, sometimes Karen's. This Karen is going off in a Walmart employee like a firecracker on the 4th of July. The employee, blessed her soul, tries to reason with her, tells her to chill out. But Karen, nah, she's on a one-woman show, and the only audience she cares about is herself. So what? So what? I won't. Yes. I won't. I absolutely will not lower my voice because you're not my f***ing mother. No, but I can't kick down the soul. Well, go ahead. Who are you going to hurt? Me or Walmart? Right here. Oh, 
Put it in the shit in her car. I got my baby in here. The employee finally lays down the law. Calm down or get out. Karen, ever the picture of Grace, dares the employee to kick her out. Security gets involved, but even they can't shut this woman up. As she's getting escorted out, she pauses to yell at another random employee for looking at her? Seriously, Karen, what's your problem? This whole thing is a meltdown of epic proportions, and it just leaves you wondering. So rewind to January 2022. Two dudes rocking scarves like it's the middle of winter. Stroll into this department store, looking shady as heck. Cameras catch the whole thing, them waltzing in, hiding their mugs. A few minutes later, the same camera sees these two swaggering out, looking mighty pleased with themselves, definitely clutching something extra in their hands. Like the easiest theft ever, right? Wrong. One tiny snag, the security guard. But these guys, they were prepared. Smooth operators they were. One dude plays it cool, bumps into the guard to distract him, you see. While the other dude is holding out the guard with his fake fumble, his partner in crime is slipping out the door with a loot. Scott free. Pretty slick. Gotta give them that. Another security guard was caught on TikTok. This dude, Brennan, is just minding his business when this overzealous guard accuses him of stealing. Yikes. The customers were inhabited. it. They lit into the guard for messing with Brennan, basically giving him a verbal smackdown. Brennan himself decides to go full-on drama mode making a huge scene until they sort this whole mess out. Let's just say, he was not happy about how the guard treated him. I'm glad you recorded. Don't touch me. Move. Don't touch I, me. I'm, a, I'm an other me. police officer. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, sir. Bye. Get your manager. She's a manager. Get your manager. What happened? You didn't pay. Show me how you didn't pay. It's right there. What's right there? My receipt that I paid? Yeah, it wasn't completed. Yes, it was. It wasn't. How? If I left. I saw it. With my own how? Eyes. How? Yeah. Explain to me how said, Go for it wasn't completed. It wasn't if I've completed. already left and it was already yeah, paid. It wasn't how? Paid. Explain it I'm to me and you put your hands on me. How? I did. It literally said thank you for trouble. How? No, after I left. After I told him. How? You don't have to be on my face like no. that. No. You pushed me. Yeah. I know I did. Get your manager. She's right there. Get your boss. Yeah. Put right your there. hands on me and I paid for my shit. Right. You f***ed up. I didn't f*** up. I'm and you know it. Bro, I, There's I no know. reason why I could not have been paid if I already left. You f***ed up. No. You f***ed up. I'm looking at the machine. I'm looking at the machine. And that's a procedure. You know that. You could have checked before. So he is in his right to be this upset. Because I know. That's no right. So I'm looking at the machine, bro. So can you apologize bro. first? Said, before of all, can you apologize? I could apologize, yes. Can you apologize right now? Though? I have my right, which is, I'm saying I saw. I, I don't hear you apologize. I don't need to apologize yet. just because you're forcing me to. Bro, you, you just did something wrong and you know it. I saw the machine and it said the, the, the pen what is What do you say? Because when I, when I saw you, out. I looked right here and it said thank you for shopping it with us. It says pay now. You could have come and like, hey, checked before doing that. I'm looking you're at the machine. You're not wrong, bro. And I, like, I, is anyway, the manager going to do there. anything about it? She's right there, bro. Exactly. She's right there. Yeah. Like we were all here and we saw it. I and you're still not you apologizing. That's a problem. It's you're still. Why is that a problem? You did something wrong. When people do something wrong, they apologize. That's how life is. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And put we his hands back. on him. Yes. Yeah. I know. I, I understand, understand that. We came back and now I have the receipt. That's fine. And I'm you're sorry. Still not apologizing. But I initially, okay. I saw the machine and I said, hey, let's go back. You're not allowed to even no, he's not. At he's all. not. You're not supposed to touch he's anybody. Not. So you're dead wrong. He can call the cops on you. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You can. So you're not going to apologize? You're just okay with doing that? I just told him that. What? You, you said that? What? I didn't hear apologizing. Initially, we saw the I machine. Want, I want his manager. I want, I want his boss, man. That's fine. No, he should get his name and complain to his security company. You can talk to That's Sean. He's, the, uh, he's right below the center. He's right there. Okay. Sean is right there. Sean is right there. Okay, and what are you going to do about it? Are you the manager? Hi. Hi. Give me my receipt. Seven? My receipt's right here. That's fine. You're, you're good. good no, it's not. It's not. It's not a pass. I'm good. The man put it. his hands on me. He snatched my food on my hands. And he hands. does not want to apologize for it. He did it right in front of us, in front of kids. Well, let me. You yeah, already no, called Kevin up, right? I feel like we should do something about it. I'm calling my boss up, friend. No, yeah, you mm -hmm. should. Thankfully, a witness saw the whole thing go down and ripped the guard a new one for his mistake. To top it all off, the guard didn't even apologize to Brennan. But hey, at least the manager stepped in and took action. This whole situation is a masterclass in how not to do security work. Seriously, 
Some guards need a serious chill pill. This video is from a robbery at a coffee shop and it's pretty tense. A guy walks up to the order window, starts chatting with a worker, maybe trying to act casual. Then things get weird. This dude leans in super close, keeps glancing back over his shoulder like he's checking for witnesses. Not a good sign. And then he hops right over the counter. We can't see exactly what happens next, but it looks like he might have snagged some cash from the register. Yikes. Hopefully the worker is okay after that whole ordeal. Nobody deserves to be shaken down for their coffee money. Here's a shoplifting story straight out of Athens, Georgia. It all went down on October 20th, 2022. We got footage of this lady who seems to be a regular at the shoplifting game. Apparently, Walmart's asset protection team caught a red-handed bags overflowing with clothes she wasn't paying for. The head honcho of asset protection wastes no time and calls the cops. I'm going to take inventory while Go ahead. I do. We're in the office now. Is that all on? Yeah. Yeah. What about the front box? Turns out, this woman's got a rap sheet longer than a grocery list, full of shoplifting offenses. She even had a chance to avoid trouble with a pre-diversion program, but guess what? She blew it. This time, there's no escape in the cuffs. Alright, sorry it took so long. We were trying to figure out a few things. Alright, Allison, you've got a pending case already in Oconee County for the same exact thing from last month. Mm -hmm. And you were put on the pre-arrest diversion program, right? Yeah, so unfortunately we have to take you to jail today for that, because you've got pending cases. Yeah, it's good that I'd go to jail. Yeah, shoplifting's an arrestable offense. This is your second time in the last month, okay? So I need you to put your bag down, I'm going to put your hands behind your back, okay? Right. We'll take it to the jail with us, okay? Can you tell you that video with her because I'm trying to find her in? Confirm. Okay, that's fine. Does he sell it? Okay. We're going to be in the Yeah. Put it down. Okay. Well, she's trying to confirm that you came in with it, okay? Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Allison, hands behind your back. The first time I walked in. She's trying to confirm it. Hand behind your back. She's acting like she's got no clue. I don't keep them in, so I'm trying to find them. Okay, well, you should probably see where it's Stop. 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 We will in just a minute. Just hold your horses. Okay. Right. Wait up, Allison. Here, I got this. We get here. Stop moving. What? Why are you moving? There's only one car out here. There are two cars out here. Pay I'm attention. I'll transport. Out. This way. Man, Stop. The officer hauls her in, but this lady's not going down without a fight. She's got a major attitude, but a quick pat down and the evidence from Walmart shut her right up. The employee throws in their two cents, letting the officer know this woman's officially banned from the store. Do you have anything in your pockets that'll stick or poke? Anything you're not supposed to have? Mm. Are you wearing a bra? No. Does it have underwear? No. <laughs> oh, 
check in. Check in and drink it. Is it a good thing? Hold on. Hold on. Right, get him. So they pack her into the car and head down to the station for processing and sentencing. Let's just say this lady probably learned a hard lesson about messing with store security. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.